I am Anil Kumar and here is a test question on sum of functions. The question here is, let f of x equals to mx square plus x minus 3 and g of x equals to x square minus nx plus 5 and hx equals to f of x plus g of x. Determine f of x and g of x if points 1, 3 and minus 2, 18 satisfy h of x, right? So, in this case, what we should do is first find h of x, which is combination of the given two functions. And then by substituting these two points, we can find the two unknowns, m and n. So, let's write down what is h of x. h of x is combination of f of x and g of x. So, that gives us mx square plus x minus 3 plus x square minus nx plus 5. Now here we can take x square is common then we get x square and we have m plus 1. For x we have 1 minus n minus 3 plus 5 is plus 2. So that is h of x. Now we are given that two points 1 and minus 3 1 and 3 and minus 2 and 18 lie on this function, right? So, so if, if I substitute 1 and 3, it really means that x value is 1 and h of x is 3. So what we can do here is, so what is h of 3 equals to? h of 3 is equals to 1 and when I substitute 1 here, I get 1 square which is 1 times 1 plus m plus 1 then I have plus 1, there is no need to write 1, so 1 minus n plus 2. Now this equation, 1 equals to m plus 1 plus 1 minus n plus 2. So let me write down this equation as bringing constants to this side, or let's go one more step. So we'll write down here as 1 equals to m plus m minus n, combine the terms. And as far as the numbers are concerned, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 4. Or we could write this as uh, taking 4 to the left side, we get minus 3. Sorry, h of 3 is 3, I'm sorry. So this is 3, not h of 3 is 3. So we'll write 3 here, sorry. So we have 3 minus 4 as minus 1 equals to m minus. So that is one of our equations. Let us call this as equation number 1. Okay. Now what we will do is we will substitute the second point. Second point is minus 2, 18. So if I substitute minus 2, 18, then I get h of minus 2 is equals to 18. And we are substituting in our equation, which is right here. Correct. So I should actually number this equation as, as 1. And I'll write this as 2. Okay. So we'll substitute this in equation number 1. So what we get here is x is minus 2. So 18 is equals to minus 2 square m plus 1 plus minus 2 times 1 minus n plus 2. Right. So we get 18 equals to minus 2 square is 4. 4 times m plus 1 minus 2 times 1 minus n plus 2 or 18 equals to 4m plus 4 minus 2 plus 2n plus 2. Now we can combine the terms. So constants are 2 minus 2 is 0 plus 4, right? So we have 18 equals to 4m plus 4 plus 2n, right? Let me write down this equation on the right side. I'm taking it from here, okay. So what do we get? We get 18 and I'll take one 4 on this side. So minus 4 equals to 4m plus 2n. Right? 18 minus 4 is 14 equals to 4m plus 2n. Dividing by 2, we get 7 equals to 2m plus n. So let's call this as equation 3. So we already have one equation as m minus n, let me write here one equation m minus n equals to minus 1. 
this is our equation number 2 right so I'm just copying it from here if I add these two that means if I do equation 3 plus equation 2 what do I get I get 6 equals to 3m right plus n minus n 0 or m equals to 6 over 3 over just 2 so we get the value of m now we can find the value of n using our equation 2 again right so we'll substitute ms2 here and write find out what n is so so substituting ms2 in equation 2 so we'll call this as equation 4 so we'll sub 4 in 2 right so what do we get so we get minus 1 equals to 2 minus n and this implies that n is equals to so bringing it 2 plus 1 which is 3 so we get the value of n as 3 now once we know that we know what our functions are so now we know that m is equals to 2 and n is equals to 3 right so since we know m and n we can write down our functions so now our functions are f of x is equals to let me write down here okay let's write down here so we have f of x as equals to m is 2 so we have 2x square plus x minus 3 and g of x is equals to n is 3 so we have x square minus 3x plus 5 so that is how we can get our answer so that is that is the answer for us <clears throat> so I hope you understand the steps involved First, find the equation of h of x by combining the given functions. Then use these two points to get two equations, which we got as minus 1 equals to m minus n and minus 1 equals to m minus n, right? Okay, and 7 equals to 2m plus n. Now, from these two equations, we can combine them, isolate one of the variables, and then find both the variables after substituting the value of variable we have the function so that is how it should be done i hope that's absolutely clear to you thank you and all the best